Hello, reformers, and welcome back to War Sword Conquest and the Adventures of Slive a Skaven Blight. Now, when we left off, we were a rattling gunner, and now I have, well, shall we say, rolled back a little bit. I asked my lord whether I could change my proficiency, and he said yes. So we are now a scryer Jezail once again, and hopefully we will acquire another promotion, hopefully to a poisoned wind Globadier this time around, so we can try out some of the other troop paths. I think that would be rather nice. Maybe I'm getting a little bit wrong here in terms of where the scryer Jezail goes, but hopefully I am correct in this instance. But now, we are currently at war against one of the Elf Lords, and as you see here, we do outnumber him rather considerably, but I think we should have a very good chance of being able to get a couple of kills, because we do have the rifle of a scry at Giselle, and it is very long range, very damaging indeed. So I am very hopeful that we'll be able to get a little bit of experience here. So, oh, it does appear as though we are just going to be charging straight on in there, I like that a lot. Very nice indeed, although, <laughs> do I like that? Do I like that a lot? Because, as you can see, we are currently suffering a huge amount of casualties. Oh, hello! Oh, that's unfortunate. I really thought I hit that fellow there, but it does not appear that is the case. Well, let's try to take out some of their infantry, shall we? I always have a very difficult time taking on their cavalry. So... Ah, <laughs> okay, my apologies, gutter runner. Or, shall we say, no, never mind, die. Yes, because we are evil, of course. So, let's get out our pistol, because I've always had good luck with my pistol, so I'm going to try and take out some of their archers. Yes, well, at least it rejuvenates itself, or reloads a little bit faster. There we are. Oh, very nice, we took out a high elf Hawkeye. Not bad. Okay, come on. Ah, uh, yes. I am pretty terrible at range, I have to admit. Goodness me. Okay, come on. Yes, there we go. We did some damage, but we didn't actually get the kill, which is even worse. Oh, no. Okay, come on. Ah, uh, yes. Well, at least with the pistol, you can actually reload on the run. So we could potentially get a couple of kills, maybe one more kill here. That fellow is now running. So, ah, uh, really? Okay. Well, I missed my chance, and one of our rattling gunners was able to pull off the kill, unfortunately enough. And, yes, we can only hope that we will become a rather good Poisoned Wind Globadier instead of the rattling gunner, because, well, we weren't very good at that, or at least I wasn't, so, yes. Let's try to be a little bit better, shall we? So, return to duty. We gained a pretty reasonable amount of experience. We are almost to the next promotion, so I think we have a very good chance of becoming that. And for some reason, it does appear as though the vassals have left us. No, no, it does appear as though we are splitting off into a smaller group. Hopefully, Deathmaster Snitch will not decide to head back to his fief at Foul Peak, because, believe it or not, as you may see by the date in the bottom right corner, we have been waiting here for about two in-game weeks. Yes, I've been running around with him, and I was hoping that he would get into a fight, but it does appear as though he was having a couple of confidence issues, maybe? I have no idea, but he was deciding that... Ah, there we are! Very nice. He was deciding that he would just stay back. From the front line. So, this time around we're going to be selecting Poisoned Wind Globadier, and now let's just take a look and see what we can use. Globadier helm, armor, yes, we're not going to be using these gloves. And there it is, Poisoned Wind Globes. These are the AoE poison attacks that I do believe one of you told me about in the comments, so let's hopefully be able to make that work, shall we? Now, where are my cartridges? Did they seriously take my other cartridges? Okay, well, I have 30 bullets for that. I don't have a shield, which is problematic. But we have some Poisoned Wind Globes this time around, so hopefully we'll be able to show those off in the next fight that we are in. Okay, so as you see here, we are currently engaged against some Renegade Mercenaries. We've not fought these before, so I thought it w would be rather nice if we could experience this together. And, of course, we do have our Poisoned Globes that we can use. So, without further ado, let us attempt to be a little better with these than we were with the Gatling Gun. And we'll see. 
what happens once we throw them. I am hopefully going to get a little more than just these fellows here. Ah, unfortunate. Okay, come on. Throw this. Okay, 46 damage to a horse. That's actually not too bad. And maybe we can try and take out some of these guys before they absolutely murder all of our units. Okay, never mind. Well, I have my poisoned globes. Let's do it. Ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I actually thought this was AoE. No. Okay. Well, come on. There we are. Nice headshot right there. Very nice. And now maybe we could take out the other fellow. Where are the other renegade mercenaries? Oh, it does appear as though they're engaging us up the hill here. Very strange tactic to employ, in my opinion. Hmm. Okay. Well, I have a pistol fully reloaded. And we should be able to do some damage to their gunners. Ah. Come on. Yes, there we go. Ah, we actually did a little bit of damage, but didn't take him out, unfortunately. Hopefully we will be able to... Well, that's not going to work, is it? No, definitely not. Yes, 53 damage. Come on, it's just such a shame that they have such a large amount of HP. Otherwise, I'd be able to take these guys out without any issues whatsoever. Okay, this guy's actually shooting me at the moment. So, it would be nice to take him out. Hopefully, ah... Really? <laughs> oh, no. That is terrible. Okay, well, we tried out our poisoned globes a little bit. Not as much as I would have liked, but yeah. Let's try it out, shall we? A little bit further, and we'll see where it goes from there. I could have asked to be changed to infantry, so I'm not entirely sure whether we should do that, because as you see, we do have 146 in one-handed weapons, and 182 in firearms, so in theory firearms should be good, but as you can see here, we could go to request an audience, and yes, we can get some more relation with him, but we could be reassigned to claw vermin, however, that is probably, yeah, that's not going to be too good, is it? Because I was offered, what was it again, a plague monk, I believe it was before, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Well, let's just wait a little bit longer and we'll see. Now, ah, there is another promotion here. Okay, well, we're going to wait a little bit. We'll see if we can get another promotion. And hopefully it will be a little more effective at combat, or at least when I'm controlling it. Okay, so we have entered the High Elf Kingdom's territory with a number of our Skaven vassals, and we are now engaging one of their patrols. Just before, we were attempting to siege their nearby town, but it does appear as though we have maybe given that up for now in favor of taking out this patrol, which is, well, a little disappointing, but we'll see what happens in just a moment as we take out a Blade Lord. That's actually rather nice. I do say so myself. Let's try and take out one of these fellows, though. There we are. Nice high elf archer taken out. Let's try and use our poisoned wind globes a little bit here, and we'll see how well they work. If at all, 29 damage, really. Okay, 18 damage. Well, I have 31 in throwing proficiency, but that shouldn't make any difference to the amount of damage that we can actually do with it. So, it does appear as though guns are definitely the way to go in comparison to the poisoned wind globes, at least. Let's try and take out that fellow if possible. Rat ogres, get out of my way, how dare you? Okay, well, nevertheless, yes, we have leveled up. We are level 9 now, and hopefully the experience gained from this particular bout will gain us another promotion. And it does appear as though we are now going against another high elf patrol. Goodness me, are we just going to be farming these high elf patrols? They do appear to come out of the woodwork very, very quickly. So, maybe there's quite a few of them in the area? Who knows? But it does seem as though there's a pretty high turnover of patrols in the area. So, let's see what we can do. Let's try and get a couple more kills, shall we? Because in a previous bout, where I didn't actually show what I was doing, because I thought, well, I'm probably not going to get any kills, but I did actually get quite a few kills, and I leveled up as a result. So, yes, hopefully this time around we'll be relatively similar, although at the moment it doesn't appear as though we're doing too well at the moment. Come on. Yes, there we are. Took out a high elf spearman. Not bad. Now, if only we could take out 
one of those archers, or maybe this fellow. Hello. Oh, yes. <laughs> 75 damage to the chest. Very nice. Okay, come on. Take him down as well. Thank you very much for dying. And now, all we need to do is take out these guys. Ah, really? How did I miss that? Goodness me. That's pretty bad. Okay, come on. There we are. Take that guy out. No problem at all. And now... You there! Ah, no! <laughs> I actually wanted to take that guy out, but it does appear as though one of our scry Zales was able to get there first. But nevertheless, it does appear as though we have attained victory once again. And I think we should, in theory, have the opportunity to now accept a promotion. But as you see here, we have now entered versus an Elf Lord itself. And hopefully we will do just as well in that previous bout as we did here. So, let's go. Let's try and do well. Let's try and do a little bit better than these Scry Agazales. They are very good after all. Take that guy out. Oh, we didn't take him out, but I was able to do a lot of damage and then a clan rat was able to get the kill. That's very disappointing. Well, let's do it. Ah, really? Okay. Well, let's just be a little cautious here because I could get taken out very, very quickly indeed. So, oh, there we are. We took out a sword master. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, come on. Maybe we could take out these guys as well. Oh, they're recruits. Okay, well, I probably need to ignore those for now because we need the experience. We need the most experience possible. So we need to kill the higher level units. How about that fellow? Ah, a little unfortunate there. I was able to miss that. Okay, come on. How about some of those guys in the back? Oh, we did damage to a horse, really? Wow. Okay, come on. Let's do it. Uh, I think I may need to move a little bit closer with this pistol. It does not seem to be a very long-range pistol, at least for me at the moment. So, let's see what we can do here, shall we? Okay, come on, let's take out that guy. Oh, really? 55 damage? Okay, come on. Reload quickly! No! We need that kill. Yes, there we go. Shadow Walker. We actually got the kill for that. Very nice. And now all we need to do is take out one of these guys and then our objectives... Really? He falls to the ground as soon as I am about to fire... How dare you, Master Molder? Well, you're actually rather cool, I must admit, but wow. That was close. Okay, so 385 for that. Very nice indeed. And now, in theory, we should have reached... Okay. <laughs> Another high elf patrol. We should have reached our promotion. So hopefully, in a very short space of time, we should have the next rank. And then we'll be gaining a larger amount of gold each week as well which is great. So, let's just take a look here. We do have a couple of forces rushing us immediately, and hopefully I'll be able to take out some of them. Oh, we did 24 damage, but unfortunately that damage was not the killing blow. Ah, okay. Well, what about one of these guys? Hmm, no such luck. Okay, come on. Whoa, they have a lot of archers. Okay, come on. Yes, there we are. We took out a high elf archer. Very nice indeed. And oh no, I'm getting pincushion now. Let's try and move, shall we? Yes, there we go. Come on. Reload, reload. Keep moving. Yes. There we are. Take that guy out. No problem at all. It does appear as though if I zoom in, it makes it a lot more difficult to get kills. So let's try not zooming in for a little bit and we'll see. Yes, look at that. At range, I was able to get a very easy kill there. So let's see what we can do here. Yes, look at that! Whoa, okay. So, it does appear as though when you use a pistol, it is a good idea, unless you have a very high proficiency in firearms, not to zoom in. Because if you zoom in, then your reticle will be a lot wider, and it will make it a lot more difficult to get any kills. So let's see. Oh, I could feel that just graze by his head there. Ah, uh, yes. Well, as you see, we do have an arrow sticking in our chest, but pain is nothing to Skaven units, and I will learn to shrug it off, although I'm not going to be shrugging for quite some time, because it is in our shoulder. So, let's try and get remedied by one of our plague monks, or some sort of medic in our army here, and it does appear as though we have attained victory once again, and we only lost four units? Seriously? Wow. I was not aware that that was the case. Okay. Well, we have increased our relation with the Skaven Underworld from 41 to 42. Even better. And we have advanced to level 10. Which is... Wow. Very nice. 
So, let's see, what do we want to do here? What I was doing before, in the previous episode, was leveling up Charisma to get us some more prisoner management, leadership, and trade, etc. So I think we'll get one more in leadership, just to prepare us for the time that we break away from the army. And I think we're also going to be increasing our agility a little bit, because I would like to get some more points in Weapon Master, and more points in Athletics as well. Do we want any Riding Skill? Do we want Riding Skill? Maybe, maybe not. I think we probably want writing skill in the end, but not at the moment. We probably want to get more tactics, so let's go for that. And next level, I'll put some more in tactics, and then we'll see what else we can get then. So let's get some more in one-handed, more in two-handed a little bit there. Okay, I am ready to move on. It does appear as though Deathmaster Snitch is making his way back to Skaven lands. So, oh, wait a minute. It does appear as though we have a caravan as well as an elf lord in our sights. So, let's see if we can actually catch up to them. Oh, wow, okay. It does appear as though Deathmaster Snitch is very, very fast indeed. And this is actually pretty cool because we're not with any other vassals. So, it will only be our units versus the caravan's units. And they are from the High Elf Kingdom as well. So, we are fighting the same sort of units. But, yes, I have a bad feeling that maybe these guys will have some... Rather powerful ones, because the caravans, they are not to be underestimated, but yes, we'll see in just a moment, won't we? I do have a couple of injuries that we are still recovering from, so let's try to make the best of it. And yeah, I think I may have missed quite considerably there. I'm not entirely sure how powerful the guns actually are, so the projectiles may be traveling a lot lower in terms of their range than I am used to, so let's just see what we can do here, shall we? Hmm, strange. Okay, well, there's a Blade Lord over there. I would like to take that guy out, although it does appear as though some of the Hawkeyes and various archery units are a little bit easier to get at. Whoa, really? Hey, what are you doing? How dare you? <laughs> okay, take out that guy. Yes, there we are, a Lothan Sea Guard. Okay, well, we're reloading. Hopefully, I'll be able to get this kill. And there we go! We were able to get that kill. Very nice. 52 damage to a High Elf Sentinel. It does appear as though not zooming in makes a hell of a difference to getting kills here. So that's not too bad if I do say so myself. So let's take some fine dried meat. Very nice. And some bread. I like that. So let us now take a look at the Commander's Report. Yes, as you see here, our experience to next promotion is zero. So we should, in theory, be gaining our promotion... Well, very soon. I'm not entirely sure why we haven't gained it just yet, because we were in High Elf territory, and maybe that's the reason. Maybe we need to be in Skaven territory, or maybe he needs to retrieve his funds to be able to upgrade us. Who knows? But we will soon see, as we pass by our newly conquered Bretonian fief that we took a couple of episodes ago. And, oh, it does appear as though... Ah, okay. Only two enemies here, so I think what I'll do is take care of these fellows, and I will see you on the promotion screen, hopefully. Okay, so upon being awarded 240 gold, we have now been recognized as a Warlock Engineer. So, let's take a look and see what we have actually just been awarded. A Warplock Spear, very nice indeed. And it appears that we have also been awarded a Warplock Pistol as well. So... Let us, without further ado, be equipping that and our cartridges as well. We have our Warplock Spear too. So, ooh, this is looking very good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this might be a lot better than the Rattling Gunner. It does appear it is, because the accuracy of the Warplock Pistol is 85, and our Flintlock Pistol is 65, and we were already doing a very good job indeed at range, or at least when we weren't zooming in, so... Yeah, let's try it out in the next combat scenario that we are entered into. Hopefully it will be rather soon, because believe it or not, I have actually been playing for an hour. And yes, it is, well, Deathmaster Snitch. That is the only thing I'm willing to say about that, yes. <laughs> he does appear to be rather indecisive at times, and he does like to patrol around foul peaks a little bit too much as you see here. So, I will cut away, and hopefully once we have entered combat, 
I will see you then. Okay, so seeing as Deathmaster Snitch is basically just patrolling around Skaven lands, and he might be on his way now to a battle situation, but if he is not, then I will have to end this episode off here, because as you may see by the date in the bottom right, I have been here for about nine days? Was it nine days? Him just patrolling around there? I have lost track of time. It's been too long. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, it does appear as though we may be grouping for an offensive, maybe against Britannia, or maybe against the High Elves once again. I have to admit that that was rather lucrative, taking on those High Elf patrols one after the other. We did gain a rather considerable amount of money from it, and various amounts of items too. So perhaps we will be returning there, or perhaps this is a tournament. Is this a tournament? Enter st Yes, it is! Aha! Do we want to do a tournament? Maybe we do? Shall we try it out? Let's do it. Okay, let's place a bet on ourselves as well. We have a lot of money after all, so let's do it. Why not? Okay, so we have some throwing axes. Uh, okay, come on, let's try and make them work. Oh my. No, no, no. Okay, come on, run away quickly. Okay. Oh my. Okay, so the orcs, I was not expecting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. Do some damage. No, my power strike rating is so bad. Oh, wow. Okay. So, this is why I'm now reminded why I probably should not do tournaments. Oh, Deathmaster Snitch actually won. Okay, well, that's, I suppose, okay. But a little unfortunate that we were taken out so incredibly quickly. But, yes, having two in power strike is probably not the way to go in that way. So... Let's just see what we're going to do. If we're not going to be doing anything too useful, then I will be ending this episode off here. So let's see what Deathmaster Snitch has in store. And of course, he would miss out on that one combat over to the left there next to the pirate's town. Yes. Okay. Well, I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.